Yo, what's going on, dudes? All right, so that new event quest dropped today, and we got two new champs to fight. We got Squirrel Girl and we got Nova. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nova and how you can deal with him. All right, so let's get some of these basics out of the way. So Nova is one of those champs with just an absolute laundry list of abilities, and there's a lot of stuff to look at, and you don't need to worry about all of it. A lot of it is for offensive purposes, and a few specific things are for defensive purposes. And I'm going to point all of those out to you right now. So first things first, Nova's mediums don't make contact with you. So it's kind of like if you're fighting Havoc or Ebony Maw, but you can't parry his medium or dash attacks, but you can parry that second light with a re-parry or a shadow parry, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's how you're going to want to stun Nova. So on top of not being able to parry his dash attacks, you also can't intercept him while he has a fury buff. And you can't get around this by using somebody who's completely unblockable like Nick Fury or somebody like Killmonger or Corvus with the True Strike ability because you'll be doing 70% less damage when you're unblockable or have a True Strike buff active. So Nova is kind of joining that club of like Mr. Sinister and Ebony Maw of like the group of champions who you can't fight with Corvus and Ghost because if you hit him with a guaranteed crit, you're also going to be doing 70% less damage. And if you have True Strike on Corvus with Proxima, you'll be doing 70% less damage there. And you also just totally can't fight him with Ghost because he inflicts an armor break on you that lasts for about 25 seconds um, whenever he consumes any of his Nova charges. So she's just completely out of the equation. Um, on top of that, when you hit him with a guaranteed crit, he's going to generate 50 Nova charges. And when he gets to 100 Nova charges, he's going to gain an unblockable buff for two and a half seconds. So you just don't want to fight this guy with Corvus or Ghost. It's not going to be a good time. Leave them at home this round. Now, if Nova triggers his auto block while he's at or above 75 Nova charges, he's going to trigger the parry mastery. So this is something that we really, really want to avoid. When he's at 50 Nova charges, he can trigger that auto block while he's stunned and then purify his stun debuff, kind of like Kingpin or Agent Venom does. If he's at 75 charges at this time, he can also trigger parry. So you want to watch out for that. So having all that in mind, where at 75 charges, he'll be parrying you and at 100 charges, he'll go unblockable. Whenever you nullify one of his buffs, he's going to lose 25 charges. He'll also be consuming 25 charges on a special one to increase his power rate and 50 charges on the special two to do extra damage. But again, those two things are kind of more offensive. So let's talk about how to fight this guy. So ideally, you want to go in with a champ who can continually nullify this guy. I personally went with my favorite mystic champ, Dr. Doom, because of its guaranteed stagger and tanky block proficiency. Now to evade his special one, watch for his initial beam and then the dash he does after a slight charge on both. I personally like to count to four, dexing on one and four. So one, two, three, four. I also chose Doom for the luxury of throwing a heavy while he's blocking multiple times in the fight. Since Doom is awakened, every time he tries to get a fury buff while he has a stagger on him, it'll be converted to a shock. And while he's shocked, I can passive stun him and heavy him. Now for his special two, same system except there would be dexes on 1, 2, and 4. I personally found it easier for the time being just to parry his second and third beam until I get more acquainted with it. One very important thing to note is that his heavy animation has a big pause in between the first and second hit, so you can interrupt his heavy with a combo. So once you have those basics down, all you have to worry about is doing enough damage to kill the guy off, and then you're good to go. I've also soloed the fight with Human Torch with the pre-fight active, as well as Domino with the Trinity. Some other great options could be Black Widow Clairvoyant, Symbiote Supreme, Dr. Voodoo, as well as a really stacked Omega Red with the Sabretooth Synergy. And if you're feeling kind of cheesy, a duped Ronin should be able to do the trick. That's really all there is to it. As long as you understand his mechanics and manage his Nova Charges, you should be able to get this guy down without too many issues.